Hi, everybody. I'm chilling today. I smoked um, one blunt and one bowl out of a dime. Um, eventually, I got to quit. My brother-in-law told me that they were going to have an intervention for me on Sunday, which that's weird. And then his daughter was like, what's an intervention? But my nieces know what an intervention is. So if they do that on Sunday, I'm going to have a lot of explaining to do. Um, there's nothing on TV. Fringe. Fringe is on. And I don't know what's on Channel 9. I only got a... I only got a, um, converter box. I haven't fed my fish because there's still food floating around in the tank. So I'm not, I'm not feeding them until that food is mostly gone. Ronnie now comes with a money back guarantee. When you want a paper towel that can do it all, lean on me. I wish I could rap for you. Kick a little something like this. <laughs> but I don't know how to rap, so I can't do any Nicki Minaj nonsense or uh, who else? Little Kim. I just don't flow like that. Nicholas. I know I'm not all that. I know I'm not all that. But you were my friend, Nicholas. And I just wish I could take back some of my actions towards you. You said that I was emasculating you, and now I was thinking about that. And I think I was, and I don't know why. I just hated you for, you know, in the back of my mind because... Because... You brought Fiona into the picture. And you had no business bringing her into the picture when we first met. So I always held that against you. And then when you sort of hit on me, it's like not even a hit on. That's what I don't like about you. It's like you're so vague, you know? It's like you give a command and you expect somebody to just do it. And I'm not used to um, doing things that men want me to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do it the easy way. I usually do it the hard way. They're giving Monk. I don't want to watch Monk either. Let's see if there's anything on Channel 2. So, now you're in California. I'm supposed to be in California. And anyway, I was really like, you gave Fiona a place to stay when she didn't have anything. And then I ended up in a shelter. But it was my choice. I wanted my SSI. And that was what I was most concentrated on. First, it was like college, you know, and I didn't want you to distract me and I I don't know what I thought I was young it was 10 years ago you know I was immature and inexperienced and I didn't want to be like the women in my family where they wait and wait and wait and wait and wait around for this guy 
that is only going to disrespect you. And that's what I expected of you. I thought you were going to disrespect me. And you emasculated me. If, if the tables can be turned, you emasculated me for a long time. Um, and then just turn around and think like, like I'm just going to do you, you know, and it's not fair because I love you, you know, and it's not fair to me that I couldn't get a second chance. Um, if you hate doing your work, your coworkers don't respect you, and you always wish you were someone I'm not an angry person, but I hold stuff in a lot. And you're not an angry person, but you hold stuff in a lot too. Because, like, when you was eating that slice of pizza and you was like looking at me like if I wanted to take your pizza, and I was like, oh my god, this guy's crazy. I'm looking at him like, wow, I want to I wanna lick his face right now. Like, I want to just do him right now. He's so sexy. You know, I'm, I'm. this is what I'm thinking while you're eating your pizza. And you're like, I see the way you're looking at me and you're not going to get any of my pizza. <laughs> I mean, those are the good old days, I swear. Those are the good old days. I'm never going to have fun like that again, ever. I mean, is it better to have love and loss than never to have loved at all? Why can't you love and keep your love? You know what I'm saying? Why can't you keep it? I I think we're a nice couple. Nobody believes that you exist because, like, nobody met you. So everybody's like, yeah, he's a figment of her imagination. She's schizophrenic. And I'm like, that's so not fair because this, I even found a picture of you on the internet. But who wants to look at that? You know, only me. And nobody's interested in, in what I have to say or chilling with me. They're busy. And I can't chill with my nieces. They're 12. And I don't get along with my friends. I mean, I do, but not my frenemies. And I told you about them, about the two friends that I had and how it didn't work out between us. And, um, I didn't do it with you because I wanted to keep you. And in the end... I lost you because I didn't do it with you. And I hope that if we see each other again, when we see each other again, God willing, that we can do it. I mean, I really would like to to make love with you because it just seems like a natural thing to do now. I wish I was ready for you when you was ready for me. Or at least I could understand what you meant. I mean, I was in shock when you told me to, that your tank, that your t-shirts and your boxes are in the top drawer. I was like, what does that mean? Like, I don't get it. I totally didn't get it. It went right over my head. And that's not fair because I'm, I was very insecure. I mean, I am insecure, but I'm more open to sharing my body now. And I wasn't then. When you were, I wasn't. And how about that? I mean, can you forgive me? I'm not that bad. I mean, was I, was I a bad friend? Am I not worth it? Can you give? Can you take me or leave me? 
I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just wish that you could occupy my time. <laughs> I mean, it's. I don't know what to say because I miss you so much and there's nobody like you. But um, that's it. I'm I'm up to over ten minutes, so I gotta go. I love you, Nick. Uh, contact me.